this mass is offered for all the intentions in the mass box. The Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Independence Day The Blessed Virgin Mary has a special place of privilege in heaven and on earth. As the mother of Jesus, it is natural to venerate her. However, there is more to her than just being a mother of our Saviour. Her surrender to God's will in all circumstances. Her attention to others' needs. Her ability to hope in the midst of despair. All show her faithfulness to things, both great and small. That is why God, in his faithfulness, has honoured her as Queen of Heaven. In this Eucharist, let us ask for the intercession of the Queen Mother to be able to love God and our neighbour wholeheartedly. Today, as we also celebrate our country's Independence Day, let us also pray for her protection on our motherland. Break out your joy, give glory to God. Lift up your hearts and sing. Let all creation tell of His name. Praise Him forevermore. Blessed are you, God of our fathers. Glory and praise forevermore. Blessed your great and glorious holy name, glory and praise forevermore. Ring up your joy, give glory to God, lift up your hearts and sing. Lift up creation, tell His name, praise Him forevermore, praise Him forevermore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. This solemnity celebrates the fact that at the end of Mary's life, her body was assumed into heaven rather than undergoing decay in the earth. Though maintained by the faithful for centuries, it was only proclaimed as a dogma of the faith by Pope Pius XII in 1950. So Mary is a model and symbol of the church to cooperate in the God's plan of salvation. I repeat, Mary is a model and symbol of the church to cooperate in God's plan of salvation. We are invited today to be a part of it. And for this preparation, let us acknowledge our shortfalls, our sins, and prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. Together, I confess, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and, and sisters, sisters, that, that I, have I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Lord, 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 have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, 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 have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, 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 have mercy. Lord, have mercy. On the solemnity, let us exalt to the words of Gloria. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened. And a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pains and the agony of giving birth. And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on his heads seven diadems. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she bore her child, he might, might devour it. She gave birth to a male child, 
one who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was caught up to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she has a place prepared by God. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. The word of the Lord. Our response is on your right stands the queen in gold of fear on your right. Stands the queen in gold of Ophir. The daughters of kings are those whom you favor. Listen, O oh daughter, pay heed and give ear. So will the king desire your beauty. Scorched with gladness and joy on your right stands the queen in gold of fear. On your right stands the queen in gold of fear. Forget your own people and your father's house. He is your Lord, pay homage to him. They pass within the palace of the king. On your right stands the A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For as by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive, but each in his own order, Christ the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, after destroying every rule and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For God has put all things in subjection under his feet. But when it says all things are put in subjection, it is plain that he is expected who put all things in subjection under him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Taken up to heaven, the whole soul. 
rejoices. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked on the humble estate of her servant. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from those who fear him. From generation to generation, he has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their throne and exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his offsprings forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ. Saint Bernard says, The virgin full of glory is taken up to heaven. And he adds this nice words. These words of his are, What a beautiful present the earth is sending to heaven today with the wonderful gesture of friendship. Such a giving and receiving. The human and divine, the earthly and the heavenly, the humble and the sublime, merges into one. Such an intense and beautiful thought, such a depth of description for that one beautiful scene of assumption. Such a beauty. And today's reading, if you see and you heard, it's beautifully a combination. That's the first reading and the gospel. It speaks about a woman and God's creative, redemption, redemptive and salvific plan or action through them. The first reading from the book of Revelation clearly being chosen as a symbolic description of Mary in glory. There is a first of all, a brief vision of God's triumph in the New Jerusalem, opening and revealing Mary's life, that the Ark of Covenant within. In today's special occasion of this feast, the feast of, that we celebrate, the Feast of Assumption, the image is applied to Mary who bores the maker of the New Covenant within her within herself and so 
she herself is called in the litany of our lady ark of the covenant the gospel from luke recounts our lady visiting elizabeth and evangelist luke beautifully describes this visit in number of ways very similar to david bringing the ark of the covenant back into jerusalem so we see and we have the book of revelation and the evangelist luke descri describing and giving a description of mary suggesting our lady is that ark of covenant and the joy is seen where the two sisters meet together and there is a leap of joy within the womb of elizabeth and there she proclaims mary our mother through her words the words that we often use in our prayer of hail mary and holy mary these are the words that beautifully comes before us through the words of elizabeth and there afterwards mary responds to her through her magnificant she beautifully exalts lord and accepts her humble state she gives into the will of the father and she clearly knows that that is the beauty that is the revelation for which she is called wherein she agrees with the will of god so today the two facts that brings us in practical life as i said earlier giving and receiving just to remember our father gives and mary our mother receives mary our mother gives and we are called to receive jesus in our life receiving jesus makes us the whole the full the perfect through his way in our life we bear witness to him through the world so as we have gathered let's as we are celebrating this auspicious day the solemnity of our lady's assumption assumption of a blessed virgin mary and not forgetting the independence day we recall to our heart we recall to our mind that this beautiful day assigned to our lady we call to her and we ask her the grace the grace that she is giving each one of us and the grace that we receive her receive jesus in our life and we prove and make ourselves worthy to proclaim him through our life to bear witness to christ through our life let us stand and profess our faith by taking the apostles creed i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of body and life everlasting amen heavenly father we come to place our petitions before your throne with hope and trust in our hearts our response will be lord hear our prayer together Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer for the pope bishops clergy and religious that they may continue to be faithful witnesses in all circumstances for this we pray 
Lord, hear our prayer. For governments of all countries, that they work to uphold peace and justice in and through all their policies. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Catholics all over the world, that they may live out their God-given mission in imitation of the Blessed Mother. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For women all over the world, especially those vulnerable to society's exploitation, that they may be valued and protected through the intercession of Mary, our mother. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our parish communities, that peace and hope may reign in every family, ending division and conflict. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us lift up our personal intentions to the Lord in the silence of our hearts. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God our Father, you crown Blessed Virgin Mary with glory and honor on the day of Assumption. Grant that through her intercession, we may be safe on our journey on earth and merit to share in her glory of eternal life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. This day of joy, or the day of hope, we come to you in love, O oh Lord. On the day of joy, on the day of hope, we come to you in love. With this bread and wine, we come to the Eucharistic feast on the day of joy on the day of hope we come to you in Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts aflame with the fire of love, Constantly long for you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and the image of your church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would, not, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Son, he 
in the highest. Precious He who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, Shana, oh, Shana, in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Oswald, our Archbishop, and all the auxiliary bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles and all saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. All those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries, remembering them especially and those who have asked us to pray for them, we lift them in our prayers and bring them at the altar. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With a smile on our face, let's look at each other and offer a sign of the peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us make our spiritual communion with the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Choices in my God. I delight greatly in the Lord, my soul rejoices in my God. For He has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in the robe of righteousness. He has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. I delight greatly in the Lord, my soul rejoices in my God. I delight greatly in the Lord, my soul rejoices in my God. All generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to glory of resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, 
who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Wish you all a very happy feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary and a happy Independence Day too. 8 a.m. flag hoisting and the inauguration of a new message board in the quadrangle. 8.30 a.m. Konkani Mass. Communion service from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. 3.15 p.m. live rosary followed by Mama on Wheels organized by the youth of our parish. Parishioners, Please note that the parish fathers will visit the families of IC sector number 1 on Monday, 16th of August from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. The PPC members and your animators will keep you informed about the visits. Are you taking care of a loved one who is sick or aged at home? Do you feel weighed down at times? The family cell invites you to an online Zoom session, Caring for the Caregiver, on Sunday, 22nd August, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., conducted by a trained counsellor, Dr. Rachel Pires. Registration details will be sent to you through the PPC members. The counselling unit of our parish, IC Kope is organizing an online Zoom session called Rise from Your Grief, especially for the mourning families, on Sunday, 29th August, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Details about the registration will be sent to you through a WhatsApp poster through the PPC members. Next Sunday, 22nd August, will be celebrated as Justice Sunday. The Viani Sunday collection amounted to rupees 2 lakhs 96,360. This amount will be sent to the Archbishop's house. The collection made for the prison ministry amounted to rupees 3 lakhs 97,261. This amount will be sent to the Prison Ministry Trust. Thank you for your generosity. Taking this opportunity, myself and behalf of the entire IC clergy team would like to wish all parishioners, parishioners, parishes, family members, everyone, happy feast of Assumption of Blessed Virgin Mary and Happy Independence Day too. Have a blessed day. Kindly bow your heads for God's blessing and a response after every prayer will be Amen. Let us take these blessings for our families, for our near and dear ones, for everyone. 
May God, who through the childbearing of Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessings. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you all and remain with you all forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying Lord through your life. Thanks be to God. You are the honor of our people, O Virgin Mary, the joy of Israel. You're blessed among your women, for you treasure the world in your heart. You were taken into heaven, into heaven, into heaven, into His marvelous light, into His marvelous light. So now rejoice in your Savior, holy His name, and let us praise Thee. Almighty, the Lord who did marvels for you, for you were taken into heaven, into heaven, into heaven, into His marvelous light, into His marvelous light, into freedom, into freedom. Into freedom, into freedom, into His marvelous light, into His marvelous